Did you know that an emergency room can order a new copier faster than your medication list? Or that an EMT can get yesterday's football scores faster than information about your last heart attack? Isn't your health information more important than a sale on office equipment or the latest scores? Technology can make patient care safer and provide secure, confidential access to information for making the best health decisions. In Pennsylvania, we're giving health information a 21st century upgrade. We call it Health Information Exchange, or HIE. Health Information Exchange uses technology to allow healthcare professionals and patients to store, share, and analyze health information. It started in 2010, when the federal government gave Pennsylvania a $17 million grant to make HIE happen. The Pennsylvania eHealth Collaborative was created to implement the grant. The collaborative gathered people together, doctors, nurses, technology experts, hospital leaders, pharmacists, laboratory managers, academics, and patient advocates from both the private and public sector who have a stake in using technology to make healthcare better for our citizens. The stakeholders decided that a market-driven approach was best to serve the interests of patients, clinicians, and businesses. Together, they made a plan. The plan laid out how health information will be exchanged, how it will travel and connect to every corner of the state's health systems and health information exchanges, called HIEs. Healthcare providers will share healthcare information wherever and whenever it is needed to improve patient care coordination. The stakeholders' plan had recommendations on how best to create statewide health information exchange. One, create an independent agency of the Commonwealth, an authority to oversee the $17 million from the federal government. Two, create community shared services, or a CSS layer, to enable different organizations to share health information within and beyond Pennsylvania. Three, build a network of networks, in the network, all the participants will keep their own data. No clinical information will be stored in the CSS layer. One thing the stakeholders were firm on, making sure the information that is shared over the networks is secure and that personal health information is protected. And if someone doesn't want to share their health information at all, they can opt out. If they change their mind, they can opt back in. The collaborative, the stakeholders, and the legislators bundled up the recommendations, the roadmap, and the plan, and put it into Senate Bill 8. Then came 2012. The collaborative submitted the strategic plan to the Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT, a federal agency also known as the ONC. ONC approved the plan. The collaborative also wanted to help the regional HIEs in Pennsylvania, so they offered $6 million in capacity building grants. And the Direct Grant Project was launched. Direct is simple, secure email for doctors and other licensed healthcare providers to share information. The collaborative and four certified health information service providers, called HISPs, signed up providers to use Direct. On July 5th, Governor Corbett signed Senate Bill 8 into law creating the eHealth Information Technology Act of 2012. Known as Act 121, this law created the PA eHealth Partnership Authority, the independent agency. The authority has a 15-member board representing physicians, nurses and hospital organizations, consumers, payers, departments of health and public welfare, long-term care, behavioral and mental health organizations. There is much work ahead for the authority, the board, and our stakeholders. Build the CSS layer. Hook up HIEs to the network of networks. Make sure every patient's information is secure. The authority will continue to move forward so that patient information will flow smoothly and securely through Pennsylvania and beyond. The electronic exchange of medical information makes health outcomes better when providers have the right information at the right time. For more information about the Pennsylvania eHealth Partnership Authority, visit www.paehealth.com.